Oh, no. What? what? No. Are you serious? <laughs> Stop. Where did you get it? Oh god, that's really bad. That's really scary. It all started with Max. <laughs> oh no. After our unexpected stop at the remote Venezuelan island, we dropped our anchor in Curaçao. The Dutch territory is known for its colonial style buildings, pristine beaches and abundance of marine life. After a few days of exploring, it was time to say an emotional goodbye to Elixir's longest serving crew member. The lows are wearing the highs at the moment with so I've got a lot of back issues that I want to go back to the UK and get sorted out. Yeah, it might take a while. So I've preemptively packed quite a lot of stuff. I'm just being tall. There's nowhere really for me to stand up straight in the boat, which is a bit, a bit hard. There might be a pre-existing kind of weakness there, I'm not really sure. I'm just going to get a scan and find out. It'd be nice if that wasn't. Sometimes when you're offshore and stuff, you can see how it's... how pain is a lot of like a psychological thing as well, because pain seems to go away when you really need to do something. But, yeah, it kind of comes back again. Yeah, I've had to set out a lot of sessions take painkillers to go surfing so that's not fun. We're going to spread a nasty South American variant all around the UK. Nah, I'll, just, I'll go to the doctors and get get back on the waiting list. Yeah, it should be about a year maximum. Maybe I'll get a job and go private. I'll get a job anyway. Don't know what I'm doing. It would be pretty shit to fly home. I'd rather sail, but <clears throat> um, it's not really a season at the moment. The actual sailing is biggest parts of it rather than arriving at a destination. It always feels good to leave somewhere and get back on the road again. To take our minds off the sad sight of Harry leaving, we busied ourselves by replacing the solar panel which we lost on the passage before setting sail again to discover a nearby island. absolutely gorgeous and there's no other boats here so you're not surrounded by anyone until like the tourist boats arrive and then there's a ton of boats but after they leave it's like an incredible sunset and you have the entire place to yourself it's like extremely white sand really really clear water we sailed here and like we had the new solar panels so we got to turn the fridge on and then we had some fresh fish and just like really nice time really chilled out Clan Curacao is also spiky, just like regular Curacao, but it's a lot nicer, I think. There's only a few things to see, but there's a old lighthouse, and the two houses attached to the lighthouse are kind of abandoned, but the lighthouse is still working, which is pretty cool. And then there's a giant shipwreck, and I'm not quite sure what kind of ship it is, but it's been, it's really quite very, very rusty, and then there's also a sailing yacht. You just walk across the island really really quickly and then and then that's really about it but it's really flat here which is very similar to Holland as well but the desert landscape is very different. I really like the lighthouse was really awesome really going up to the top and seeing the view from there was one of the coolest views I've ever seen during sunset it was you could see like the moon and the arches of the building and then everything was so symmetrical but it was quite phallic looking like we were making jokes because we could see it from afar and it's the only thing you can see and it's just a little bit it's a little bit of an interesting shape let's say Klein means little in Dutch and I'm ill as well because we went to watch the England play the finals in the Euros and the AC was on really 
high and I got <laughs> cold because I'm not used to being in the cold. It was quite nice to get away from Spanish water in Curacao. It's really built up and there's, there's not so much nature around. There's lots of Dutch people and it's really busy and like lots of tourism. And this is the first time we've been sailing without Harry as well because Harry's left which was quite sad. He's been on the boat from the start and, he, and, and then he had to go. And it's not very nice when one of your friends is in a lot of pain. Other than that, Curacao's been a bit, um, it's been fun. It's been pretty like up and down. We've been to some cool parties, we met some cool people, but it's also we met some quite a few creeps. There seems to be a high concentration of like creepy people here. Everything's quite far away as well. But yeah, it's a good place to like go for hikes and go for runs and have a little look around and look at the interesting Dutch buildings and sort of relics of this old Dutch colonial past that has kind of resulted in a funny Papiamento language which is like Dutch, Portuguese and Spanish all blended into one. We just sailed away from Klein Curaçao back to Grote Curaçao, uh, Big Curaçao. I think it's just the mainland, I don't know how to call it, but um, the sail down was a little bit challenging, it was completely upwind, and we had to do a few tacks in order to make it into the island. So now we're just flying back to Curaçao, all the way upwind, it's easy, we're making really good time, and as soon as we get there, we're going to pick up Jimena, my friend um, from LA, and she is a really, really great person. I can't say enough good things about her. I'm so excited that she's gonna be joining us on the passage to Colombia. And we should make it back to Spanish water just in time to pick her up from her flight. Um, she's gonna take a cab down and meet us. So I'm really excited to see her. Jimena's here. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> My name is Jimena and I'm from Los Angeles. And yeah, so how, how did you like come about finding out about this? Through Hana, through being friends with Hana for a while, for a long time, many years. Um, and watching all of her adventures all this time and just how um, similar we are in a lot of ways and the fact that we've kind of attracted this experience together to be happening right now. When I was a kid, I would go on sailboats a lot because of my dad and his friends, um, but never like on my own, you know, without like adults. So I'm excited to learn and I'm learning a lot. I learned how to tie the most important knot, learning how to tie the, I forgot what they're called. Fenders. Yeah, the fenders on the side, yeah. sides of the boat. Yeah. yeah, wind direction, upwind, downwind. It's so much fun, I feel like it's, I love doing this anyway, like with my friends and stuff, just like camping, kind of not, I don't know, having a more adventurous way to spend your time. Cooking has been really fun. Yeah, sleeping, I kind of go from sleeping inside the boat and then I'll come out here and I'll like set up my little bed here because I get really hot and the wind feels really good on my skin so it kind of like soothes me back to sleep and I don't really get overheated. I'm really excited. I've never done that before, like especially overnight, so um, I'm super excited to have that experience for the rest of my life and hopefully have more uh, adventures like that. Never been to Colombia. Um, I'm very excited to go. I've traveled quite a bit, but never by sailing, so this is gonna be, you know, incredible and awesome, and I feel really lucky. We're leaving for Colombia in two days, and like, this is gonna be, Mena's first time first sailing time. on the race, so I'm really excited to see like everything that we've been learning like put into place and then also you just like seeing it all happen and then yeah. also really excited to like just have experience fun together, a new yeah. place. Yeah, I mean it's been so much fun so far yeah. like it's we're a good crew. Yeah, we have a lot of fun. <laughs> we're
How are you? Okay. How am I feeling? Not sick at all. Like I can taste every single thing that I eat. Okay. <laughs> uh oh. <gasps> oh no. What? what? <laughs> no. Are you serious? <laughs> Stop. Today. Are you yeah. lying? Huh? Are you what no, the? I'm not. I just got that. Where did you get it? Oh god, that's really bad. That's really scary. It all started with Max. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I guess like a, a week ago, Max was pretty sick, and but he was just like positive it was a cold, and then I caught it, and then also Paul caught it, and then yesterday. I couldn't taste anything, um, and neither could Paul, and so I had first thought definitely it's just a cold, but after I couldn't taste anything Excellent. I was pretty nervous that it was COVID, and now Paul has been, uh, Next one. Ma Paul has gotten a COVID test Next. today, and we just oh. saw that the result was positive, so that pretty much means that Max and I were both posi positive for COVID, which is crazy because we are all vaccinated. We're literally all vaccinated. I'm negative according to like yeah, he just had a yesterday. Test. Yeah. Just yesterday I took it and I got negative. Oh man. Fuck. Oh sorry. <laughs> we literally hiked up a mountain with this sickness. Mm. Kind of a bummer to feel safe after being vaccinated and then like Well, but you not ended up in hospital. No, so. no, but it just it sucks to like put other people, yeah. you know, yeah, that's in right. risk. Yeah. I don't know because we were supposed to go to Colombia, but it's that, uh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> We decided to delay our departure in order to self-isolate on Elixir for a few days before setting sail for Colombia to get our first taste of South American culture. Thanks for watching another one of our videos. We hope you're enjoying the updates and if you want to stay posted then head over to our channel and click subscribe. Also leave a comment and let us know what you thought. We'd love to hear what you have to say. See you next time.